Welcome to this edition of Week in Review. We are here to uh, give you an update of what's going on in the uh, Loma Linda Broadcasting Network universe. Uh, we have lots of channels and lots of plans and lots of programs to talk about uh, today. But first, let's start off on the right foot with Ganem Anna and the verse of the day. Ganem? Thanks, Marlon. How about if we read two verses today? Read a whole chapter. <laughs> well, no. Uh, those two verses, I think they connect. Uh, one from Luke 19, 10. It says, For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. And then in Luke 15, 2, it says, And the Pharisees and the scribes grumbled, saying, This man receives sinners and eat with them. Very interesting. Why did you uh, choose that verse for us today? Well, you know, the world in this month symbolically will be celebrating the Easter holiday. And uh, sometimes people get lost of what this holiday is about. It's really about the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, a, a God who is so powerful, so mighty, yet he came in to the brokenhearted, to the poor, to the lost, to the one who needs him. And he did not, he did not associate himself with a particular class. He was a man who offered God's kingdom to anyone who became in his contact. Mm -hmm. Rich, poor, sophisticated, or ignorant, uh, men and women, Righteous and sinners, but interesting enough, the righteous rejected his, his light and his information. Well, the self-proclaimed righteous, that is, but the sinners sowed him with hunger and need. And it's interesting, the human needs, the spiritual needs, really doesn't know class. Rich or poor, educated or not, the spirit seeks the greater creator. And we all need them. And we're all sinners regardless of class. So it's really beautiful to me. It's a reminder that, that Jesus who died for, for mankind, for humanity, it's a God who loved all creations and he loved all from all classes mm -hmm. to bring people to peace, to hope, and to his kingdom. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's hear what uh, Bob has to uh, say. Well, what's your take, Bob? Oh, I have a lot going around in my head here. I think it's human nature for many of us, not all, but many of us to feel that somehow the sinner is unworthy and God probably shouldn't be involved with that. And Jesus' example when he walked this earth was just the opposite. He was deeply involved with those caught in sin with the ultimate hope that they would repent. But I think many still make this mistake today, and sometimes I'm guilty of it too. We tend to look at the sinner and, and judge them. It's for God to judge, but also it's for God to work with these individuals. He loves them as much as he loves the, <laughs> the pious and the pure. Mm -hmm. Daryl, what, uh, what is your comment? Well, um, whether, like uh, Gannon was saying, whether they're rich or poor, it didn't really matter to him. I mean, he hung out with prostitutes. He hung out with the lowest of the low, which was tax collectors. In fact, Matthew, one of his disciples, was a tax collector. Mm -hmm. um, he hung out with, and it's interesting to me that, okay, he hung out with also the richest man in Jerusalem, Nicodemus. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but Nicodemus was embarrassed to be seen with him. That didn't bother Jesus at all. Nicodemus wanted to meet with him quietly in the middle of the night out in the woods so nobody would see and know that he had seen Jesus. And Jesus was fine with that. He was like, okay, go out and meet in the woods and nobody needs to know that you've seen me. He didn't seem to care what was their intentions or discomfort. All he cared to reach people where they're at. Connect. Relationships mm -hmm. with people. He built relationships. I mean, the, I love the story about the, uh, 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 the lady by the well. The, uh, yeah, the woman. The, the, Samar the Samarian. 
Yeah. Uh, it's just beautiful. You, you know, his disciples were like, what are you doing? Talking, do you know who this woman is? Mm -hmm. But Jesus was too self-secure in his spirituality, in his influence on others, that he wasn't afraid that he was going to be corrupted. On the other hand, he was so full of the gospel and the heavenly powers that he was at ease with himself to give it out to regardless who he becomes in contact with. And I think as Christians, if, if I may just finish this, as Christians, we have to be very self-confident in who we believe in and what our convictions when we speak with people. We should not be embarrassed or uncomfortable to project our thoughts and not to be shameful or hide who we are, you know, with Jesus, because that's what Jesus did. He was comfortable in every setting. Mm. And shared good news. He did not force it on anyone. He offered the information. Well, one technique that I use when sometimes we get into these discussions is, that's not what Bob says, it's what God says. And it's in the Bible. Let's take a few moments. I'll show you. Right. Right. Well, that's a very, very interesting uh, views and angles. Uh, but, uh, gentlemen, we have to uh, move on here. Uh, Daryl, Gannon mentioned something about uh, holiday programming. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, you know, Easter is coming up. Uh, what, what do we have planned? Uh, we have uh, planned for the entire day, um, Easter Sunday, will be uh, holiday programming. There will be uh, um, the Jesus movie, which is the book of John, basically, word for word, done as a movie. Um, there will be a number of musicals and uh, and other programs that uh, that are that relate to Easter. I know a lot of people um, on Easter just stay at home, enjoy friends and family, and so on. Um, LLBN, His Word, and His Light will both be great channels to just leave on and and enjoy. Mm. Uh, we also have a, a brand new uh, program that's uh, going to join us very soon. Oh, yes. Uh, starting um, the 14th, Sunday the 14th of, of April, uh, there's a new show. Um, it's with Miguel Mendez, Pastor Miguel Mendez. It's called uh, Rediscover. And um, very interesting perspectives on portions of the Bible. I mean, the Bible, you can go through it and get new information oh, every, every time, time. Mm -hmm. and from different people different people see things that you don't see mm -hmm. and uh, yeah well we have uh, just a little taste for you uh, here's Miguel in action and the newest program to join the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network lineup the brilliant British essayist and writer H.G. Wells once wrote advertisement is a form of legalized lying. I tend to concur with Wells. I mean, all it would take is for you to take a gander in my garage. It is littered with products, products that promise all sorts of marvelous things, exercise equipment that tells me I don't have to work hard in order to attain the body of a Greek god, cooking ware that says you will be a master chef, Pillows that promise to change and revolutionize my sleep patterns. We live in a society that tends to wrestle with, this, with these grandiose claims. After all, we are skeptics. We're always looking for the small print. Sadly, that translates to our spiritual life. When we hear the message of the gospel, we're constantly looking for the small print. God tells you, I want to save you. And we say, but what do I need to do? God says, I love you unconditionally. And we say, well, as long as I behave. God tells you, you possess inherent value, and all we can do is focus on the flaws. So you have the Bible, the Bible that is constantly attempting to reframe our paradigms, to reshape these things that we think we know. 
Isn't that exciting? Don't miss the new additions here to the program lineup on uh, LLBN. Well, let's uh, move on to our building project. And Ganim, well, he's got the plans right in front of him to share with you on LLBN. Ganim? Marlon, I'm just delighted. So delighted I can't sleep enough at night thinking of the building project and the, <laughs> and the growth coming mm. to this ministry. Uh, the blueprints you see in front of me, uh, that's being that's what's really being submitted to uh, uh, to the city. Uh, there are several sets here. You can't really see it, but our director will show it on the full screen later on. But I'm just this is just to show the folks that we have our plans. Uh, we're moving forward. Uh, I want to say something um, for the city of Loma Linda leadership between the city manager Jarb and Conrad, who's the economic developer and many members of the city, the level of support and uh, uh, we're getting from them is just phenomenal. We're so great to those folks. When you go to the city, you need to stop by and say thank you to them because they're really helping us and they helped us to grow and guide us through the code and the requirements needed to do have a safe building, a, a building that would look nice and it would have all the requirements we need. So. Praise God, we are excited. I'm excited. I'm very excited. And uh, we look forward to share more about our development of the project in the upcoming months. We're going to put a live camera on the construction side mm -hmm. for our viewers and donors who like to see the progress from time to time. They can just tune into our website and uh, see what's going on. We still need financial support. We could appreciate all the help, but we're very careful in how we're separating our operation costs versus building costs so we don't come back to our viewers and say, whoops, <laughs> we miscalculated. That's yeah. all into control, well-planned and well-tracked. Well, thank you for that uh, insightful uh, update. And uh, like Adam said, uh, information, if you need some more, just check, check the website, give us a call, send us an email, and uh, we'll be able to... Uh, glad to uh, inform you of uh, what's happening. But just... <laughs> Join us here at Week in Review from week to week, and we'll keep you uh, up to date. Well, it's time now to uh, spend a little time talking about Christian Connections and uh, what you're going to see uh, in your last opportunity uh, this evening. Bob? Tonight at 6.30 Pacific Time, Christian Connections. You can watch it as Gana, Marlin, and Daryl converse with Pastor Paul Su. He is the network director of LLBN Korean, our Korean language uh, channel. Korea is a country that's in the news quite a bit, and I think you'll find it very interesting from a Christian perspective how to spread God's word and witness within that environment. Uh, Pastor Paul is joined by his wife, Grace, and also Pastor Seo. He's of the Buena Park Korean Seventh-day Adventist Church, and he'll be doing God's Word. Marlon? Well, and what's coming up next Tuesday? Oh, we've got another one. That's right, Marlon. Next Tuesday, April 9th, we'll be live at 6 p.m. Pacific Time. Christian Connections will be featuring Olivia Moses, who will be discussing her special outreach program on uh, nutrition. Uh, Ganim is going to be away that evening, so she'll be interviewed by yourself, Marlon, and also co-host Lee Aveling. Thank you, and uh, the time is up. Uh, we'll have to do the cards and letters next week, but thank you so much for joining us for this edition of Week in Review right here on the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. <laughs>